In this tutorial, you'll learn a few tricks that you can do with shapes. If you'd like to learn more about the basics of applying shapes, watch the shapes tutorial on the Photopia website under Support Tutorials. One of the easiest uses for shapes is as a text underlay. Simply create your shape using a solid, gradient, or image layer. Then add a text layer on top of your shape. Then to make it easier to move your shape and text as a single unit, add them both into a group. Another fun way to use shapes is on multiple instances of a single image. Start by adding a shape to an image. In this case, we'll add a slant. You can adjust the position of the shape on your image using the crop settings in the adjustments tab. Once you have your shape positioned the way you want it, duplicate this layer. Resize the bottom instance to make it a little bigger, then duplicate it again, and resize the new bottom layer even bigger. You can add depth and visual interest by adding drop shadows and outlines to the top two layers. Then, turn the middle layer to gray simply by hitting Colorize. Since we've used the exact same image for all three layers, if you choose to swap out the image, you can adjust the position of the shape on all three instances at the same time right here in the Content Settings tab. In Director, you can even use shapes to create a transition. One of the easiest ways to do this is to make sure that at one point during your transition, your shape or multiple shapes completely covers the screen. It's at this exact point in time that you'll swap your source layer for your destination layer.